decades ago in Sunderland, so she's absolutely devastated by her killer's sentence. I would have been satisfied with life, and I thought life would have meant life without parole. I've been let down again by the justice system and the police force. That's Sharon Henderson speaking outside court. 55-year-old David Boyd has been jailed for life with a minimum of 29 years after abducting Nikki Allen in 1992. He was only convicted this month thanks to advanced DNA testing. Police have apologised for mistakes in the original investigation. Disgraced entertainer Rolf Harris has died at the age of 93. The paedophile suffered from neck cancer and what's been described as the frailties of old age. International students who come to the UK will no longer be able to bring family with them. Only specific circumstances will be taken into account as part of government efforts to bring immigration down. And Shell insists it's open to constructive engagement after its annual general meeting was disrupted by climate protesters. They tried to storm the stage and chanted songs. That's the latest. I'm Anna Bates. Online, smart speaker, tuning app and 97.2. This is With and Shaw. Your boy, JC. Is that what do I do? Zakaria, you know, Mama Barut in Dagat Zogar and this is now with Taura. Why much you tell Mamma Zuzagada? Mamma, Nicola Zakaria Barut, you want a manango, sure, Ungat Zoker, a Philip Osina, when you want a manja, don't have a tinker address in Noskisa. Eh, what did it? 
Good morning, I just said, no, it's fine. Daddy. No, I just wanted to check on you. How is things? Uh, how is music? How is everything? I know everything's right. Everything's very right. Muruguru, where are you going <laughs> but then you want to know what I did. Yeah, but then you want to know what I did. But then you want to know what I did. But then you want to know what I did. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. So I'm going to go to the hotel and I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. Exactly. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm Hey. 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 Nicholas <laughs> 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 Na kana zite akuna sinzo kadar. Rainbow na mbuma boys. Na ko system tazwida. Rainbow na mbuma. ya I know this I just wanted to put I've got something I want to send you very soon. Um, because I'm going to know we Zimbabwe. Don't know what you mean. I'm going to know that 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 I'm going to because I'm not You love me so much. I love you so much. Um, otherwise, Mama, I write everything okay. Sure. That time when I was at my phone, phone was now Mama. Ah, Baba, when did you get this car? When you found Nzara, Nzuru, the Oma Tis, na Chingwa. <laughs> no, Daddy. Um, Daddy, we love you so much. You know, we are so proud of you. So, how many years have you, have you been in the industry for? Uh, about 40, 48 years. 48 years in the industry, your music. Yeah, yeah, music. Yeah. My hours in the Mangani. My? My hours, my hours. Yeah. Mumba me si baka zala ma awa si pose pose pa nino fa ma ma awa zoka oka. Na wadari gari pote iso. No daddy I love you so much honest enough and um, I just wanted to tell you in front of my listeners angwa ripa reti yo kuti. Ndika wana muna no ya ku Zimbabwe in the next few weeks. I just want to surprise you with my man. I want to look at you. Because you are so special to me. I love you so so much. And I want to tell you this. I love you so much Mr. Nicola Zagaria. I love you with all my heart. In the house, I'm going to Eric Mascati. Nikati, ah, and is it a ring you run over than I know? Ah, you know, the door, I know that. Yeah, who can't say, ah, that's how we are. We are going to eat it. I'm 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 going to eat it. I
that man loved me so much. Hey. Yeah, and he loved me so much. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, uh, thank you so much, Teddy. I love you so much. I wanted to break the news, man. Baga tell you that we did not baga zote. Ko aga unau zosu sa zinzo ni kola zakari ya say then in dinema witnesses. I love you, my daddy. You look uh, after my mom and have a nice uh, night, daddy. I love you so much. Thank you so much, daddy. Thank you so much, Baba Nicholas. Thank you. Move for us in my wangu. Thank you, my dad. Oh, I love this man, man. Nicholas Zakaria. I just wanted to show you what I love this man. I want to do wonders for him. So I promise you guys, I want to do this for Nicholas Zakaria. <laughs> I love that man of man. I call him my dad. Coming up, I've got to my sister 
又计话事。My name is Yaman Shah, commander from Siwanda. Masala siya, masala siya, kunsi masala siya, masala siya, masala siya, masala siya. How are you folks in all parts of your world? My sister live in the studio. My sister Yokai. Sister Yokai, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. And how are you, my brother? I am very, very well. And you? Um, I'm fine, thank you very much. How do I know thank that you? Thank you so much for having me on the program tonight. How do I know that you are very fine? You know, honest enough. How can I know that you are very fine, sister Yokai? You want to say? I am very well, but um, I'm not as good as you. But I'm very well. Don't panic. Don't panic. I am so cool, cool like a cucumber, as uh, sweet like a lemon. But never mind about my problems. I can overcome my problems, right, sister Yokai? You know, um, I have done a research about you, and I found out that you are one of the best. You sing one of the best songs and um, around the world. And everyone is following you for the job you are doing. Um, stop crying. Yeah, get some tissues, Ewka. Get some tissues. I can see that you are dropping tears. But don't panic because I've got a lovely song for you. I want to play this song for you if you don't mind. Do you mind or you don't mind? I don't mind at all. Which song is that, my brother? Never mind. Every time, you know what? Every time when I'm buying presents, I don't tell people what sort of presents I'm buying. I have got a special <laughs> present for you. Never mind about the present. You just listen to this present. I want to give it to you. Just keep quiet and don't say anything. Okay. Just chill and listen to this. Don't panic. All right. <laughs>
sister, sister, um, you guy wash my sister. This song, Yannet, I'm told that this song you have taken over, you have taken the world. You know, why did you sing this song? It's a touching song, it's a beautiful song, it's a nice song. When I was feeling so emotional, you know, I love my my country. I'm originally from Zimbabwe. I was born and bred in Zimbabwe. So I was just thinking and praying every now and then. I have time to pray for for the for the country of Zimbabwe. So as I was praying, I just started praying and said, God, please restore. You know, when we were growing up and the things, uh, how people used to harvest in abundance and, you know, this special name, Bread Basket of Africa. And when I visited Zimbabwe recently, last year, a few months ago, my heart was bleeding, thinking, oh my God, this is the Bread Basket of Africa. May God restore the nation of Zimbabwe. So it's a special prayer for my country, really. It's a special prayer for my country, really, um, um, Sister Yoka Iwashi. Um, Sister Yoka Iwashi, um, you know, um, I, Philip Spanda, when I was born, okay, I was inspired by somebody. Can you just a guess who inspired me? Who do you think was my inspiration growing up? You sound like uh, someone that I know. And... Yeah. Eric Knight. Eric Knight is my brother, yes, but I know where you are trying to pull me to. I know where you are trying to pull me. Uh, forget Eric Knight. Okay, you have tried Eric Knight. Try another person. You want me to try again? Yeah, try again somebody who inspired me when I was growing up. Forget Eric Knight. Of course, I know everyone, once I talk about journalism, somebody talks about Eric Knight. Don't, um, do you know that as a lawyer, you are not supposed to represent your family. So forget Eric Knight. Right, um, I want to be honest with you. I'm not trying to pull your leg. I was inspired by you. Never mind smiling, never mind laughing. Let's leave it like that. You inspire me. Right, when did you start this thing? When did you record? When was your first recordings? Yeah, oh my God. My first, first album, I released that one when I was a teenager. That was in 2001. So, and then I took a break <laughs> from it all. And then I made a comeback in 2021 with my second album, Monamato. And then another album last year, again, where this song is uh, from one of the songs, Marikombra, Zimbabwe, is on, on that album called Go 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 Pano. Fantastic. 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 Are you there? Yeah. Right. Um, okay. Okay. So um, wh when was this? When was this? Which one? Go 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 Pano. Coco Gwai Pano was released on the 5th of November 2022. Um, yes, here in the UK. It has got eight songs. Uh, um, you know, they, they're quite diverse. The songs are quite diverse in the sense that one minute you're listening to a worship song, the next year, you know, the way I write my songs mostly um, is when I'm in prayer. That's when I get my songs. So you find that sometimes you've got a prayer of Thanksgiving a prayer for our Zimbabwe, a prayer asking for the pleading for the Holy Spirit to be with us. So it's it's quite diverse. But the main message of the of the album is derived from Revelations um, chapter chapter three, uh, whereby you know Jesus is knocking on the door. Uh, so go 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 ipano in Shona, it just means knock knock. Uh, you know, and Jesus is a gentleman. He will never be you will never force himself to be in your life. You, you 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 just have to welcome him and let him be the Lord that he is in your life. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. So how many albums do you have all together? All together now, there are three. There are three? Yes. 
and um when we come to say like, how do people um respond to your music and um, those people um the, how is the response to what the the work you are doing like what wherever you go you know everyone just say oh i want to see Amir shall commander oh my goodness it's him what about you yes how do people respond to you how do they respond to your music I really thank God for that grace, really, because when I released my second album to, to, in 2021, I was surprised. I'm sure you've been on my YouTube channel and see, and you have seen the, the, the views. And also, not only that, um, you know, in Zimbabwe, people were asking for the music and buying the music. And I... I, initially, I, I didn't prepare myself for that kind of comeback, uh, whereby people were actually looking for the music. And as you have seen, the last few months of being so busy, being invited on big stages, sharing stages with, you know, big artists and um, like Rebecca Malope, Sivo Makavani, and and I'm just so blessed and I feel so honored, you know, and humbled with the way the music is being received by people. I just give glory to God. So you only think about sharing the stage with the beggar. You're not talking about me meeting me there. Oh, yes, and I'm, that's how I met you, my brother. Can you imagine the grace of God? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> No way, you are a legend. <laughs> <laughs> My sister, okay, just hold on. I've got something there for you, a teaser for you. This one is just a teaser. Just hold on for this one. <laughs> Joining us, we are talking to your yeah, sister. Why, wow. okay, you want to share a lovely song? Sissy, okay, Maneta Munom, Maneta, Posse Posse Pandino Pamba, everywhere where I go, and Banoti, Ndere, Ndere, Ndere. Oh, wow, I thank God for that grace. Sure, there's a guy called Tomat, uh, Timothy, Timothy, um, Yungwenya. Um, he's just saying a message. He says, "Oh, what a wonderful uh, voice!" Oh, thank you so much, brother Timothy. God bless you, my brother, and thank you for your support as well. Fantastic, my sister. Um, I know them. You know, I mean, I just want to ask you some few questions before I let you go and make food for children. Um, all right. You know. I saw you performing the other day, um, sharing a stage with the likes of Rebecca Malope, Omeka, and, um, and Tina Zungu. Um, yes. You inspired me. I couldn't believe what I saw. I never thought that a Zimbabwean can perform like that. So, oh, wow. you're honest enough. I'm not kidding you. I'm not pulling your leg. I can't pull oh, your leg. Thank you so much. I never thought that a Zimbabwean can uh, pull a crowd, a stage, do what you did. 
Thank you, my brother. Growing up right. yourself, mm -hmm. what inspired you this year, your voice? What inspired you this talented young lady? What inspired <laughs> this powerful preacher? You know, I grew up in this um, very strict Christian, uh, even evangelical Christian family. My mom I was actually the, the singer at church, and she was an evangelist. Um, so we used to do like prayers as a bedtime routine before we go to bed and we'd pray as a family. And before before the prayers, we my mom would ask everyone to sing, to lead a song. And each time when I led the song, People will be like, wow, you, you know, you need to keep doing this. You know, your car is gifted, you know. And then from then on, my brother, the first born in our family, John Mandire, he was like, I need to sponsor you. I need, I need you to do this seriously and take this seriously um but because i was still very young and i started writing songs when i was so young uh, my brother had to protect me until i was like 16 that's when he kind of like started letting go to say okay let's go to the studio and start working on on your first album but unfortunately he had a car accident and died before i could uh, go any further with the career but I thank God that I managed to revive that now. And I feel that, you know, he is um, God, God of, of times and seasons. And I feel like this was the right time for me to come back when I've matured more in Christ and in character, you know, as well as, you know, just mature in kind of the music that I write at the moment. Yo, guy, um, I don't want to lie to you. Um... Yeah. Time is not on our side, but we always give, we always give opportunities to people like you. I will see you on the Rebecca Malope um, 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 birthday bash. Oh, yes. I will definitely see you. Please. I will see oh, you again. I'm looking forward um, to that, my brother. Thank you so I much. I want to come and sit at your table and just listen to you and just look at you. <laughs> And just stare at you and ask you a question and say, Are you the one who sing this song? Tell me now. Oh my God. That would be all right, my brother. You know, it's good to share the word of God and also to encourage one another. I think before I go, I just want to take this opportunity to thank you for having me on the program. And I I can't wait to, to see you again on the 1st of July at the at the Piccadilly Banqueting Suite, whereby we'll be celebrating the birthday of the gospel icon Rebecca Malope. Uh, please bring your dancing shoes and have the presents as well. <laughs> so thank you so much for having me tonight. God bless you. Right, before you go, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to do me a favor before you go. Um, are you there? Are you there? I'm here. Bef yes. Before you go, I want you to do me a favor because I might be uh, playing somebody's music. Probably they're not your music. Uh, probably are not your music. I might be playing someone's music because I might be uh, cheating, thinking that you are. You might be cheating, saying, "Oh, I'm the one who sang." Do me a favor. Can you sing "Go Go Go" for me in less than um, in less than fifteen seconds? Oh wow, that's a nice surprise. Go go go, da wonder soko. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sister Yewukai, we love you so much. Uh, when can, where can people get your music? Where can people find you when they can watch it? Yes, I'm available on 0 0 4 I'm going to repeat that again. 079 
0-4-4-4-6-3-0. My social media handles, you can just search Yokai Music and you will find me on most of the music platforms, actually online music platforms. On TikTok, I'm there, Yokai Music. On YouTube, Yokai Music Official. Um, on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Yokai Music. Any handles, if you just uh, search for your kind music or your kind washi. You will find me there. God yeah. bless you. Your kai, your accent is definitely changed now. Yeah, how accents make You know, your accent is just changed now. You just talk as if you how quick make crackahi. You know, are you killing me? And you killing me, young guy. For those who are listening, that is our sister, young guy. Young guy, you have a nice day and God bless you. We love you so much. I'll see you on the third of uh, July, uh, where we are going to share a stage with the report. Kamalope. We love you so much, young guy. Bye bye. Thank you. God bless you. Bye. Bye-bye, Yokai. Kata in Koko, my sister. Thank you so much. Yes, for those who are just listening, I was talking to our sister, Yokai Washi. <laughs> Is gone. My first interview was Nicola Zakaria. This one is called his sister Yoga Yashe. This one was featuring Timothy in Quenya. What a fantastic song. My name is Yamaha Shaw. Come on, I'm on the How are you, folks, in all parts of the world? I've got another young boy coming up from uh, South Africa, Zimbabwe. How are you, folks? I know a lot of people are trying to get hold of me. I hope you are so good in all parts of the world. Yes, we are talking to um, a, a few artists today. I am supposed to talk to uh, Rebecca Malop in the next few weeks. I'm supposed to talk to Rebecca Malop in the next few weeks as well. So stay tuned and keep up um, keep up the fire burning. We are here, we are here, we are here, we are here. I'm waiting for a call from Umtuziwe Vangeli. Umtuziwe Vangeli to come in and talk to us as well. That's what we do here. My name is Amashi. Come on, folks, wonder why we are waiting for Umtuziwe Vangeli. <laughs> Right up to where I'm from, girl. So cool. I'm too sweet, girl. Jackie, girl, how are you, my boy? Yeah, good journey. Yeah, pretty good. Guess I'll never pay for you, my friend. I'll follow you as an interview. Yeah, pretty good. See, I'm pretty good, girl. See, I'm pretty good, girl. Hey, let's come on. I'm too sweet, girl. Come on, girl. Okay, I'm going to say, 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 i uh -huh. Right. Yes. Nikulele go blah wai. Right. Yes. 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 Yeah, I'm 
kana we we fundisa la we fundisa miyosi kape afshoti so wase intanda wase intule la apu wase kusiti maa nse koli nga apa ee wengilandila ya kulu ee mfusele ya makolo wa ya panzika arefu ya mchumuma ibo ngochu ee ito ya tingu sisa kulu kulu kuto wengilandila nchi ingo mlandili ee unga iskuti nyangene kutuli ingo kuto wengilandila nchi Aku mahu berikan jalan cakap jalan. Aku aku mahu berikan jalan cakap jalan. Sebab semua musikat. Entah sekolah mana yang sesiapa nak lagi ni. Kumpai ini film. Aku mahu berikan jalan sesiapa. Eh, just hold on. Maybe it's a film. We don't know. That's just hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. so talented I've already, already oh I mean already followed you on um um on your on your YouTube as well. Yeah, so um Vana I mean I see what you think as you have been a cool go YouTube. So um how can people get hold of you Mfana? Um Fantastic. Um, so, as uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so,
Am I the join in the Zimbabwe? Are they playing this song in Zimbabwe? Have you given to other radio presenters in Zimbabwe or South Africa? Yeah, no problem. What I'll do is I'll, I'll introduce you to the likes of the other radio stations in Zimbabwe. Uh, I'm all Star FM and other people. I'll do that till about Father Bami, La Pan, Wuti Bagiba, Chai, Radio. My boy, anything you want to tell your listeners before we finish your, your interview, young man? Young man, I don't want to lie to you. Um, are you in South Africa at the moment you're in Zimbabwe? Yeah, in South Africa. When I come to South Africa, I want you to come and see me uh, and meet me at the airport. And then we move around this monotony music. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll get a touch in Labatuana. So you don't think I'll tell you, oh, 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 You're right, Father. I'm thinking that I'm going to be thinking that I'm only 65 years. Much like a cool. Young man, thank you very much. You know, for such a lovely song, and we are going to promote you, my boy. We love you so much. Keep in touch with me every time. Don't disappear. Once again. So, when are you thinking of finishing the album by the end of the year? Fantastic. Fantastic young man. I am so proud of you. I am so proud of you. Um, thank you so much, Naomi. Thank you so much, Mafana. And I always promote you, Naomi. You are there. I'm there. I, you are my boy. And I love you so much. Thank you so much, Naomi. Thank you so much, Mafana. Thanks. Thanks, Mafana. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you. Shelton, Shelton, how are you? Good, good, how are you? 
I am very well, Shelton. I am lucky enough today you we managed to get hold of you. Why are you so scarcely, Shelton? Why? Yeah. Oh, I stay a bit uh, out of town in the middle of nowhere. What, uh, what, what do you mean, Shelton? What do you mean by uh, out of town, Shelton? What do you mean? I don't stay in a city. I stay uh, in an island. Where are you, Shelton? Tell all uh, your friends in Zimbabwe. Where are you, Shelton? Uh, I'm in uh, uh, Mozambique, uh, in a district called Vilangulus, Pazarut uh, uh, Island. What are you doing there in Mozambique, Shelton? I'm a hotel manager. I'm a hotel manager. Shelton, you know you are so special, you know. Do you know that? What, what do you mean by saying, uh, what do you mean by saying, really, uh, Shelton? <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm so special. Right, Shelton, can you introduce yourself? Who is this Shelton, Shelton? Uh, Shelton is a simple man who was born in a, a village called uh, Mazira Village in Manyana, Chibu. Okay, okay, yeah. right. Introduce yourself and what do you do? You write a book, you write books. Uh, no, it's, uh, it's actually my first book. Uh, this is my first uh, debit uh, uh, book. What, what did you write about your book? I was reading out your book. Tell the world who are listening this time about that book and why did you decide to write that book? moved by uh, a couple of things that happened in, uh, in my beloved country, uh, Zimbabwe. What happened? I don't know why you, oh, you, 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 you know, when you send me that book, why, what has happened in Zimbabwe? What has happened in Zimbabwe? Yeah, you know, uh, it's uh, this uh, kind of uh, uh, political situation that happened. Uh, after 2002, after the elections, uh, that uh, everyone was affected and uh, most of the people got out of uh, Zimbabwe. That's the time also I went out of the country. Okay. Oh, you're talking about the economics, Every, I mean, the economy of Zimbabwe, you know, the suffering of Zimbabwe. That's what you wrote about in the book. Yes, yes, yes. So give us a trailer, a little bit of a trailer of what is there in your book and where can people get hold of your book and the, ti the title of your book. Uh, my book is titled uh, When the Evil Reign. Uh, so where was this uh, evil? Who is the evil there? Uh, yeah, I'm talking about evil rulers. Uh, um, or oh, you are talking about dictatorship in African countries. Yes, yes. yes. Fantastic. Let's leave it there. So, give us um, um, a little bit of uh, page one, page two of your intro. What is happening there for somebody who wants to buy your book? Uh, yeah, there I touched uh, the, the uh, terrorism situation in Mozambique. That's where I started the book. Uh, I, I started it uh, way ahead of uh, my story. Uh, it was uh, it was supposed to be the end, but I started with that one. And I was talking about the uh, terrorism which is happening in Mozambique, capital Gado, and uh, how many people are affected. Uh, and a lot of uh, uh, things happening there, uh, which people will find out in my book. I, I can preempt that. And uh, I also spoke about my uh, my, my birth uh, in uh, Rhodesia and uh, witnessing what was happening during the war and uh, the independence where we celebrated, although I was still very young, but I could witness how happy people were, were uh, 
uh, with the independence. But then as I grew up, I witnessed that, uh, that the country wasn't really going towards the uh, positive. Everything was deteriorating very, very fast. Mm. And, uh, mm. and uh, uh, 10 years down the line, the country was like in, in ruins. It was like a, a country that that didn't have owners to take care of it. Mm, mm. So why can people get out of your book? Uh, at the moment, uh, it's uh, on Amazon. Uh, people can buy online there. And uh, uh, by uh, next month, I think mid next month, we are going to have a, a big uh, consignment. And uh, it will be available in Harare and Pulawayo. Uh, it will be available in Harare and Pulawayo. And how um yeah. how uh, how are people um, rec uh, receiving your book? But what come to say, Ban? Fantastic. Fantastic. No, we are going to promote your book, my brother. Don't worry, leave the land to us. So how can people hold get hold of you? Check me, Sheldon Mononori there. They can also get me on uh, on uh, Twitter. I'm available also short by my name, Sheldon Mononori. And uh, people can get hold of me there. Fantastic. Um, Sheldon, thank you so much. Only that I'm, I'm, uh, the news is coming up now in the next few minutes. But you know what? I want to promote you, Shelton. I'm going to do um, um, uh, uh, another interview with you um, probably in the other studio, Studio B, where we can uh, ask you to read your book page by page and then we see what we can do. We love you, Shelton. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Shelton. You look after yourself and don't, don't, don't over enjoy yourself, okay? Okay, okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shelton. Thank you so much. You are a star. We love you so much. And God bless you, Shelton, okay? Thank you also. Thank you for promoting my book. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Shelly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. My name is Marshall Commander from Simanda. You know, we are trying by all means to promote everyone by everyone. Music of Africa with the Air Marshal Commander every Tuesday on with the Joy FM 97.2 from 8 o'clock until 10 o'clock. How you listen to this program is you go to www.wfmradio.org or you can call me on 0161490222 or email studio at wfmradio.org. If you miss the program, don't worry, you can come to my mixed out, the Air Marshal Commander on with the Joy FM 97. Over to Sky News. My name is Abacha Commander. Take time my interviews. One, two, three, four. Tatanga and Baba, Nicholas Zakaria, my father. Abakoya, my sister, Yoka, you are shy. We have done with Chelton in Mozambique, Obrigado. Stay tuned for the news, 9 o'clock. Just for two minutes. My name is Amasha, come on, I'll you under. I'm not for the I'm going to tell you I'm going to tell you that 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 I'm going to tell you Center at nine.
Boris Johnson's been reported to police over fresh allegations he broke lockdown restrictions during COVID when friends visited him at his country residence. Government officials made the referral based on claims in ministerial diaries, but allies of the former PM call it a politically motivated development, insist his behaviour is lawful and think the country's moved on. Lib Dem Deputy Leader Daisy Cooper disagrees. I think it's outrageous that the public are still being drip-fed these allegations against Boris Johnson about what he did or didn't do during the Partygate era. He has had many opportunities to tell the truth time and time and time again. The police watchdog is sending a team to assess whether it'll carry out an independent investigation into a crash in Cardiff. CCTV images have led some to question denials from the South Wales force that they were not chasing two teenagers on an electric bike before they died in the collision. Convicted paedophile Rolf Harris, once one of the UK's biggest TV stars, has died at the age of 93. The disgraced TV personality served three years in jail from 2014 for using his fame to groom and assault young girls. Police dogs, dinghies, divers and teams combing the ground all form part of a new search of a reservoir in Portugal in the investigation into missing Madeleine McCann. A new operation has been triggered after tip-offs. Child protection expert Jim Gamble says even after 16 years, there's hope something can be found. A body will decompose, but that will leave elements and traces in the soil around it. And there are chemical procedures that can be used to test that and other modern technology. Rapidly decreasing energy prices and a reduction in concerns about Brexit's impact are two reasons given for an upgrade in the UK's economic future. The International Monetary Fund thinks Britain will now avoid a recession. And in tennis, Heather Watson won't make the main draw for the French Open. She was defeated in her opening qualifier. That's the latest. I'm Anna Bates. Online, smart speaker, tuning app and 97.2. This is Withenshaw FM. The award-winning community radio station.
Roma. Welcome to the program with your mom. She come on. Oh yes, this one, this one is my favorite. <laughs> Let's play 
is called the free man. Every time when I call him, I say, ah, Magalisa, Magalisa, Magalisa. Yesterday I was talking to Trevor Dongo. I was talking to Trevor Dongo, the football team, I'm going to go to my martial command. I promote my football team. by a guy called Kumbula. The only Kumbula I remember was in Masingo. His father owned the box Tapain. That was the Kumbula I remember. The legend, the great father of mine, Steve Kakana. The title track of the song is called Ngayuye. Africa 
Come on, 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 come on,
to the UK. You know Penny Penny wants to force about me or honest now. Take it down memory lane. Old school with a legend. He's actually campaigning to be a mayor. I am Papa Penny Oyo. <laughs> I'm a 
some legends. Today I spoke to Nicola Zaccaria. Live on with Joy FM 97.2. If you miss it, welcome. Just follow me on Mixcloud. Try by all means to follow me on Mixcloud. Let me just say hi to Robert. How are you? My sister Yoga, you wash it. Right, I want to take you down memory lane. You remember down memory lane? Down memory lane, Zimbabwe, you can get a picture. Down memory lane. The legend is great. Remember, some few weeks ago, I interviewed the daughter of Simon Chimbetu. Thank 
a few minutes but uh, you know what I love you so much let me go to this I'm gonna go 
So it's called the Bakululu, Bakululu um, from Lemela Boys. I love this group. I don't want to lie to you. Mulemela Boys is my favorite, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite um, uh, group uh, from that, uh, you know, era. Guys, I love you so much. You mean a lot to me. All the songs you heard today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Somebody send me uh, 50 stars. Thank you. Somebody send me 50 stars. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Somebody send me 50 stars. Thank you, God. And God bless you. When 
Johnson's been reported to police over fresh allegations he broke lockdown restrictions during COVID when friends visited. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the program today. My name is Emmanuel Shal Command of Promise Wonder. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed it, that program. I don't want to lie to you. You mean a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hey, you are so special. You are so special. You are so special. I love you so much. I really love you. Have a nice day and God. And God bless you all. Um next week i'll be coming back again i'll be coming back again next week with the other program thank you so much um oh a lot of people have just joined me now i've just joined me now i don't know um if you miss the program um next week i've got so many programs but what i want you to do now coming from now um email um studio at wfmradio.org so that you know we can um get your songs email studio at wfmradio.org so that we can play all your songs um you can get my number there that's the studio number um that's the number i'll be using there which i pinned there so that you can all get what um you want um, send me those songs on that page there uh, whatsapp call and um, send me your songs there then we'll promote you so much you mean a lot to me thank you so much i'm reading some comments here somebody says hey much commander your show today was unbelievable uh Manze, i enjoyed the program thank you so much somebody says i'm in bulawa your hey much commander your program is unbelievable thank you so much supporting this program guys what i do is um i interview some stars so today i had an interview with the uh, mama with the uh, um uh, nicola zakaria i had an interview with the uh, um Yokai Washe. I did an interview with them. Um uh, the young boy Jovu. I did an interview with uh, Shelton, the one who writes a book. So um I'm trying by all means to bring um the likes of Alec Macheso, the likes of um Andy Morizo, the likes of Jar Preza, and the likes of Busingube. Remember Busingube will be celebrating her 60th birthday. So they are planning wonders for her. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Have a nice day and God bless you so much. I love you so much. You mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. God bless you. Good night. Guys. Guys!